from super smart chimps to insects that are master builders. Here are 17 surprising human-like animal behaviors. 17. Breaking Bread Tamarins are small New World monkeys, about the size of a squirrel, and are distinguished by their mustache-like facial hair. Native to tropical rainforests of South and Central America, they are also known to gather in groups to share food amongst themselves, kind of like a family-style arrangement, especially like what you'd find in certain restaurants. 16. No means no. Along with the common chimpanzee, bonobos make up two species in the genus Pan, and the two species represent our closest living relatives. As such, maybe it's not surprising that they might display some behaviors similar to humans, and that includes shaking their heads as a way of saying no. The behavior was observed for the first time among adult bonobos, usually when disapproving the action of some younger creatures. In particular, a mother was seen taking food away from an infant when it insisted on playing with the vegetable. When the infant tried tried to go after the food, the mother shook her head as if saying no. Now, prior to this, bonobos had only been seen shaking the heads while plying. 15. Making faces. You might not consider their facial expressions when you think of mice, but experts say the rodents might be capable of displaying pain through various facial expressions. During an experiment, mice were injected with an inflammatory agent, after which the mice displayed facial expressions that seemed to indicate discomfort. The test subjects would bulge the cheeks, narrow the eyes, or move the ears as the pain increased. After a pain reliever was administered, the creature's expressions returned to normal. The experiment inspired the creation of a mouse grimace scale that researchers plan to use in order to reduce the suffering of mice and other laboratory animals. 14. Mourning or Grieving Chimps Some studies of chimpanzees focused on the reactions of adult chimps as an elderly female was dying. Several different types of grieving behavior was exhibited as the chimps seemed to sense that death was inevitable for the friend. They tried to comfort the female by staying close to her and stroking her hair. They tossed and turned at night as if restless at the thought of impending death. Returning to the body after the female had died, the other chimps made a last effort at resuscitating her or confirming that she was indeed dead. And finally, they cared for the dead body, grooming it and cleaning it. Experts say that the findings suggest that the chimpanzee's grieving process might be better served by allowing the animals to die in a group setting than in isolation. 13. Pigeon Brain now, in some quarters, that might be an insult being called a pigeon brain. But if you are a gambler, perhaps it's a compliment. Laboratory research has shown that the birds are more likely to push a button that gives them a big payout rather than accept a smaller reward at consistent intervals. According to the study from 2010, the pigeons likely make the high-flying decisions based on the excitement at receiving a huge reward, not too dissimilar from humans in a casino trying to break the bank, no matter how steep the odds might be. 12. Chimp Communication now, we just spoke recently about chimpanzees, and did you know that there is some evidence to suggest that the animals might be able to recreate human speech? Analysis of the chimp brain has revealed that an area of the brain is activated when they communicate, and this area corresponds to an area of the human brain that serves as a language center. Now, that area, called Broca's brain in humans, contains functions that are involved with speech production. Chimp communication also involves the use of vocalizations, facial expressions, and gestures, and that's not unlike the nonverbal communication of humans. 11. Horse Memory they were first domesticated around 4000 BC, and since then, horses have been used in a variety of capacities, from farming to warfare. And given their range of duties, maybe it should not be a surprise to find out that they are highly intelligent critters. In particular, horses have excellent memories. According to research conducted by the journal Animal Behavior, horses were more likely to show affection towards humans they were familiar with after being separated for several months. You know they say how an elephant never forgets? Well, apparently, Neither does a horse. 10. Having a laugh. 
Like us, our fellow great apes enjoy a giggle now and then, especially when being tickled. Compared to human laughter, the sound is low-pitched, but experts say that the cadence of the laughing sounds is eerily similar to that of human laughter. A 2009 study recorded and analyzed the sounds of orangutans laughing while being tickled then compared those sounds with those of human infants. Results suggested that humans and other great apes do share a common origin for tickle-induced laughter, and that is no joke. 9. Hanging Around As you might know, sloth is counted as one of the seven deadly sins. It is defined as laziness or an unwillingness to work. Now, sloth can also refer to the mammal that embodies that definition. Although humans might spring to mind first, it's actually the sloth found in the rainforests of Central and South America that we are referring to. Their extremely low metabolism makes them extremely slow-moving critters. They essentially spend the days hanging from tree branches, apparently doing nothing. Not too far removed from humans who like to crash on the sofa and binge on movies, video games, sports, and junk food, among other things. No doubt the sloth would be a great animal totem for them. 8. Facial Recognition Studies by scientists in Germany have revealed that monkeys can identify faces much in the same way that humans can. The simian's ability was revealed through the use of thatcherized faces. Now, those are photos in which various parts of the face have been tweaked or rotated. When viewed right side up, the results can appear almost grotesque. But when the entire face is inverted, the effect is almost unnoticeable. Like humans, monkeys can identify such changes in facial features. But the capability tends to get lost when the picture is inverted. And by the way, the term Thatcherized is a reference to the late British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher because the effect was first demonstrated on her photograph. 7. Junk Food Junkies Have you ever numbed the pain of a bad day or an emotional breakup by gorging on a gallon of ice cream or stuffing your face with potato chips? Well, you have some company from your fellow primates. Research has revealed that rhesus monkeys are also prone to do much the same when dealing with stress. These monkeys form hierarchies of dominant and subordinate females, and the lower-ranked animals display evidence of stress, ranging from excessive scratching, pacing, and over-grooming. An experiment involved giving both classes of monkeys the same diet of low-fat and high-fat foods. It turned out the subordinates favored the diet high in fats and sugar and ate it to excess. The dominant monkeys did not indulge nearly as much as the counterparts. In fact, the subordinates continued to chow down the comfort food throughout the day and night. Is it possible those rhesus monkeys would like rhesus pieces? What do you think? 6. Tool Time it was once thought that only humans were able to craft and use tools, but that ability to use and make tools has been demonstrated by many animals. The best-known examples are likely found among our fellow great apes. Chimpanzees will fashion spears for hunting by using stones for hammers and anvils. Dolphins are known to use shells to catch fish. Ravens can make their own toys. And elephants can craft water vessels to drink from and fashion branches to use as fly swatters. 5. Home Sweet Home One basic need humans have is for shelter, and that is something we share with the veined octopus. It is a cephalopod found in tropical waters of the western Pacific Ocean, and it's only around 6 inches long, including the arms. It gets its name from a color pattern with dark lines that resemble veins. It is known for walking bipedally and for creating its own type of mobile shelter. The creature uses coconut half shells for this purpose, and when it's time to move on, the octopus grabs the coconut shells with its stiff legs, stacks them like bowls, and transports them to a new location on the ocean floor. 4. Termite Mounds now, we just mentioned the veined octopus and its ability to create shelter from a coconut shell, but termites are known as some pretty impressive builders as well, so we're going to give them a shout out here. These insects are responsible for some incredibly intricate mound work. Depending on the species, the structures can display pinnacles, chimneys, and ridges. They're not only impressive to look at, but are also engineered to assist thermoregulation, allowing temperatures inside the mound to remain cool while it's scorching outside. And they can be huge as well. According to our sources, the largest termite mound on record was found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and it measured some 42 feet tall. Must be some big termites. 3. 
primal instinct. Now, it is not unusual for animals to come to the defense of one another, certainly when it involves a mother protecting her young. But the animals involved with that behavior usually belong to the same species. It would be a bit outside the norm to see monkeys, for example, rushing in to defend another non-primate species, such as a rodent. And that is why the picture of a monkey holding a large stick and confronting a huge snake caught her eye. The snake is coiled around what appears to be a rodent, as the monkey seems ready to do battle. Do you think the monkey could have been friends with that rodent. Well, that would certainly make for an inspirational story of one animal species protecting another. Or maybe this was some sort of digital manipulation or Photoshop shenanigan. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. 2. Contract Killer Maybe you've read some stories about how a hitman was hired from somewhere on the deep web. Well, this is a similar type of story, except it did not involve the deep web, but it did involve a few orangutans in Borneo in 2016. Scientists say a female orangutan hired, quote unquote, a male to take out an older rival female. The aggression was especially unusual, given that orangutans are mostly known for being docile creatures. But the two females apparently had a bad history between them. The younger one associated with the male who spied on the rival and apparently recruited him as her partner in crime. When the rival was confronted by the male and his client, the two mauled the older female, who later died from her injuries. Researchers say that the male was compensated for his complicity with mating time from the younger female. And it was the first this time, a male orangutan was used as a quote-unquote hired gun to attack a victim. 1. Language We use language to communicate ideas, wants, and needs, and that includes verbal and nonverbal forms of communication, of course. Animals, including whales and birds, have been documented with the ability to identify objects, names, or actions by using sounds that could be construed as types of words. Orcas are said to imitate human speech, and of course, apes have been taught sign language. In the case of Washoe, the female chimp learned to sign more than 350 American sign language words, from which she could form new words and sentences. She even taught her son how to sign. 